have problems. Uh, let me move these things closer. I have so much stuff to show you guys. Pretty good this trip. I controlled myself. Are these little things? I don't know if you guys saw from my Instagram. I get this thing to focus. It's a cable binder. So you put the cable in through here and the lightning cable and this just gets plugged right into your phone. I thought these were really cute. So I got a green Zaku one, of course. And I also got the Shar Zaku one. It's a packaging that comes in. So you can see, here's the phone and then oh, focus, camera. Focus on the thing, there we go. So you guys can see here, it will plug into the cable thing and then you just, it just protects your um like the lightning or whatever i don't know whatever it is but this is basically what it does and i mean it's kind of nothing important but i just thought it was cute so i got one of each for myself and they unfortunately didn't have any gundam ones they just had the zaku ones which is fine by me whatever i like zaku more anyways so i got two of those and what's really cool is that they had a bunch of these clear acrylic stands and he pops out it um these were a little expensive but they're made in japan so i guess that makes it's worth it um but i have never seen anything like this before and i was just like wow this is pretty freaking cool i'm just popping it please don't break or anything on me you were expensive okay uh, that sound makes me nervous okay there he is The detail is very good on here. It's like cream, cream. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Clean, crisp lines on the artwork or the print job. I mean, just. But uh, I saw him. I was like, you already know your girl has to get this guy. Had to get him. Um, I they didn't have a moral for some reason because I would have liked to gotten the pair, but. They just had they just had Shar and then some other characters that I don't really care about too much, so I only got him because it's the only one I thought was worth it. Um, I did record a video so you guys can see all the ones that are available at the Gundam Cafe if you're interested in buying them. He was sold out at like two locations, so I found him in Osaka, which I was pretty happy about. So there's that. This is trash. <sighs> I was able to get. This, like I was uh, told you guys before, and you'll see my video. You can buy Gundam accessories, build kits already, spare parts at a lot of these um, secondhand stores. So I was missing the blue Exceed Zaku head, and I got him for 500 yen, so about five dollars. So the same price that you would have to pay to play the game. So I was pretty happy that that I found him because this is a color that I am missing. So. That's something I picked up at the thrift store because I really like these are, these are a little pricey, but um, they're technically three pens in one. So it's not super expensive when you think about that. So this is the unicorn one. I think you can only get this one at the uh, Gundam front because I did not see this one anywhere else um, except for the Gundam front. So I grabbed a unicorn one and I also got the new Gundam. So that's those are the two pens I got. You can see the design on him and oh, not on me. So there you go. And these are three pens in one. You have three different colors and they are erasable. So that's what I really like about these. If I make mistakes and you can just erase them off. So I got two pens because they were pretty expensive each. So I got a free coaster of baby boy Char. So I got a free coaster of him. These are the Gundam Cafe pins again in those same really cute characters. I got the goof with the frying pan. I got a Zaku holding a broom. This one is a limited pin that you got if you paid more than I think 500 yen at the Gundam Cafe. If you spend more than 500 you would get a pin and these are all random. So I happened to, I think there's several of them and I was like please give me Zaku, please give me Zaku, please give me and I actually got the one I wanted, so this is very rare because I tend to not have good luck with these like uh, mystery boxes and whatever. So I'm pretty happy I got the one I wanted. Um, and 
mint here is Sharzaku. So those are the pins that I got from the cafe. I also got myself a new notebook. I have the same notebook but with the RX782 design. And I really like these notebooks. I think they're high quality and I just like the way they feel. And they're pretty mini size, so I'll take a lot of my notes in here. So I got Shars Daku. And again, it's just a regular notebook. And it says Principality of Xeon on the bottom. And it has a little strap. And then also has some design on the back. So I got that notebook for me. Um, they also had, like I said, they had a lot of, of the G Gundam stuff out. And uh, they had a lot of keychains. I picked up a noble keychain for myself, but it actually broke on my backpack. Um, luckily, a person was nice enough to stop me because this actually fell off my backpack. And he stopped me and handed this to me. So I'm pretty happy because this was expensive. Um, here's the back. Again, also made in Japan, the Gundam Cafe. So, you know, I had to get the noble Gundam because she's just adorable and I love this kid. So I got this in the keychain. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Now I have no idea what these things are. They're like trading cards and I think with a cookie in it. I don't know exactly what this is, but let me open it and find out. This is definitely, this is a cookie. This is a chocolate cookie. Um, I don't like chocolate, so I will be throwing this out. Why do they have cookies with trading cards? That's so random, like I would not, I, I, I thought I was like, maybe am I reading this wrong? Cause it looks like there's a, comes with a cookie. But I thought maybe I'm just crazy. I was like, this can't come with a cookie. Why would cookies come in trading cards? But I have seen some of these on, if I could just like not make a mess. Okay, they're pretty cool. It's like kind of like a holographic-ish almost, banshee. And it's got some information on the back. So, okay, not total waste of money. Cause I, I guess I, what else is in here? I don't want to try this, but I'm scared. I'd rather just not. I'll just throw it out. Um, but the card I will keep. This is, these are pretty cool. You're like these could you you could turn these into magnets or something. Pretty cool. Not bad. I think this was only like a dollar thirty cents. So I should have bought more. It's all right though. Next year. Next year. Um, here's another cool find that I found. A RX seventy eight two apron. So uh, this is actually sold at the Gundam front, but that's not where I bought this. I actually found this at the used, well used, the thrift store for $15. Like, God, what a steal. Because this retails for $30. So I paid for only half of the price. And let me take a look at this. So I actually like to cook a lot. So... I'm pretty happy that I found this apron. I don't know if I'll use it when I'm cooking because I kind of don't want to ruin it. Oh, this is so nice looking. Take a look at this, guys. How cool is this? I could adjust it to my height since I'm not that tall. I'm pretty short, but pretty cool. I look official. Yeah. I will definitely be using this guy. I still can't believe I found it for $15. Ah, I love a good bargain. 15 bucks. Woo! The material it's made out of. So freaking cool. Alright, so there's that one. I'm running out of things, places to put things. Okay. Uh, next, they also had some of these um, banners. I don't know exactly what they are. I think it's for the summer um, that they, they come out in Japan. I think this is Nomi or I don't know. Here's the information. It's all in Japanese. So if you guys want to let me know down below if you read Japanese what exactly these things are. Here is the back of the information made in Japan. I got three of these for myself. Don't know where I'm going to put them because my room's already kind of full of artwork. But I will find a place for them. So let me show you what they look like. Oh, it comes with a wooden stick in here. Okay. It's like a toothpick. I don't know what this is, but it comes in the bag. Um, so this one... 
Oh, this is really cute. It's easy gawk here. I don't know what this says. Um, if you guys want to translate for me, I greatly appreciate it. But here is the banner. It's not, you know, so, like compared to this in my head. Um, I think I'll probably just buy a picture frame to put this in. And then I will hang it on the wall. So there's the first one. I bought three of these. There's that one. What would this toothpick is for? Hmm. Okay. If anyone can tell me in the comments what that's for, because I would, you know, like to know exactly what it. Am I supposed to hang it with it or something? Or here is the second one. It's a bunch of sakus in space. I thought it was really cool. Again, I have no idea what this says. I cannot read kanji, um, but that's the design. I really like how it's kind of drawn in kind of like classic Japanese artwork almost is what it seems like to me. So, yep, I wanted all of my, I don't think I got all of my missing, like they had two other designs, but I wasn't really feeling them, so I didn't buy them. Um, this is the last one. Okay. Oh, toothpick. Let me not lose these toothpicks. And here is the ARC 78-2. Again, a pretty, you know, awesome pose. So there he is slashing whatever he is. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me, sorry. But there's this one, and that's the last one I got of this series of banners. Um, lastly, I think this is the last thing to show you guys related to Gundams. I did purchase other things, but um, was this one. This was kind of expensive, but uh, I absolutely loved the design of this thing. This I don't know if I can, it's dark navy almost blackish with the moon and you have char zaku with a bunch of other zakus in the background some doms um this thing is really massive i want to say it's at least like three feet oh a little bit over three feet but i actually bought this to these are traditional um this is a traditional japanese towel i forgot the name it starts with a t but I just thought it was so cool and they have tons they will not tons but they have a, they had a couple of other designs i just got one because like i said this is kind of expensive so i got one but i did get some like a a special stick that you slide this into and then you can hang it on the wall but I'm, i might use a stick or i might put it in a picture frame but i just thought this was so freaking cool and i just love the design of it so that is the last gundam thing that I got. There was also a um, Gundam festival that was going on when I went to the Gundam front. I think it's like called Matsuri or something like that. It's just a summer festival. So uh, I think I recorded some video of it so you guys will see that at the mall. Now what was interesting was that they actually had um, some activities you could have done. Here's like a fan of the festival. I grabbed a couple of these so you know, maybe I'll do like a giveaway on my channel, give you guys, you know, if you guys want this, these fans, I did I did snag some thinking of you guys. Um, but that's what it looks like. Here's the Haro dressed up in the festival outfit and some information right here. And I actually played a game. Um, here is the pamphlet and it was a mystery game. And oh my God, this was actually really, really challenging. I almost did not finish in time. Um, I try to cheat on almost every single one, so because <laughs> it was just extremely difficult. And luckily, it wasn't English, and you had to go to different locations in the mall and figure out these puzzles. Um, and once you did that, you got a they specifically said it's a not for sale Gundam kit, which you cannot buy. So I'm like, hmm, okay, what is this figure that you cannot buy? So I was like, let me just play the game and then I'll figure out what kit. So here's all like the little clues I had to solve and the stickers and oh my God, this was, this was very, very challenging. It took me about an hour to figure all this out. We were running up and down the mall, mall six stories or seven stories. So here's a diagram and then with all the locations you had to run around, but it was actually really fun. It was only 500 yen, $5 to play. So it was actually really entertaining and a good way to get out of the freaking heat that was uh, in Japan at the time. And this is the kit that 
you would get if you completed the mystery booklet or whatever it is. So it is actually a RX-78 II. Um, I don't even know what size this is, honestly. I have no clue. It says it's made. it was made in 2019 and it's not for sale. It's a mystery rally. Find the hidden treasure of the Gundam 40th anniversary. Mobile suit Gundam logo plum Plamado. Not for sale. And this is like the mystery guy, whatever. He's on the booklet and some stickers. But there is the kit itself. Maybe I'll do a video on this. Let me know if you guys want to see this thing snapped together and what it looks like. So that was that. Um, I did get a bunch of more acrylic risers, like the ones I used back there. I got a crap ton of them. One did break, which I'm pretty upset about, but you know, it happens. It was the only thing that broke. Oh, here's another little pamphlet regarding the mystery game that I played. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with these because I do love Pokemon as well. These little mystery boxes. So in Japan, there's a lot of gachapon machines and um, these mystery boxes. So you can get one of these designs in here. And um, I love Gengar. So I was like, I really, really want this one. But of course, I have the worst luck with these things. So I did not get Gengar. I got Slowpoke. So this is what it looks like. I thought it was really cool. I mean, I didn't put it together yet. But it is basically like a little island and it just has snow poke you know being snow poke on it and it's a clear pokemon boss so i thought it was really cool all right it comes with gum what is it with japan and including food items and toys i don't know uh that's weird okay i will eat that gum then or mint whatever it is um gengar plushie here because i love gengar and so I got this big one right here. He's pretty freaking huge. Don't ask me how I fit this in my suitcase. I don't know how I did all this, but I got this one here. And then I also got a new one that was being released in Japan. Um, this one here. This was just released as I was leaving this um, Gengar collection. So I got this one to put in my car. I have a Squirtle in there right now, so I'll change that out and add this one instead because I think he's so cute. Look at him sticking his tongue out. And he's got a little, actually, spot in there for the mouth and teeth. So super cute. I got this one to add to put in my car. And that is it for the Gundam slash two Pokemon, three Pokemon things I got. I did get a lot more things, but they're not really Gundam stuff, so I'm not going to be showing you guys what I got. Um, but... That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I have so many people that watch my videos and don't subscribe. I don't know. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000. So if you could do that for me, that'd be great. And also those of you that are subscribed, just give me a thumbs down. I have no words, but at least you're subscribed. So Ugh. she's knocked out. Let me not show you my mess of a room because it's pretty messy in there right now. <laughs> I have all my stuff spread out everywhere. But um, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you around. Adios.